Greetings from Boston. I hope everyone is doing splendidly today. The world number one, Roger Federer, has backed up his very impressive victory over Nick Kyrgios yesterday in the Stuttgart semifinal with a straight set victory over the big serving Canadian Milos Raonic in the final today. This is Roger Federer's 98th career title, his 18th title on grass, and his first title at Stuttgart. Congratulations, Roger. I want to break down this match for you and give you a little preview of what's to come this week at Halle. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. This is Tennis Talk Daily. The match today was a very significant test for Federer. Milos Raonic, ladies and gentlemen, is a tough customer on the lawns. He is dangerous and he was on fire at Stuttgart this week. Prior to the final, he had surrendered only three break points, none of which were converted by his opponents, and he had served 77 aces. Well, it looked to be more of the same from Milos Raonic in the opening game of this match. He had a strong service game, and then he took Roger to deuce twice on Roger's first service game. That mixed things up a little bit. It was unclear where this was going. The third game of the match proved to be the turning point. Federer started to neutralize Raonic's serve much better and brought it to 15-30, at which point he hit a beautiful passing shot to get two break points. Remember, Raonic had only surrendered three break points all week, and here was Federer getting two break points in the third game of this match. Then Federer hit a splendid backhand cross court return to break Raonic and go up. 2-1. But it looked like Raonic might break back when Federer surrendered the first two points of his next service game. Well, some very tactical play, including some fantastic one-two punches behind the Federer serve, enabled Federer to squeeze out a hold. Each man then held their serve, and Federer was able to win the set in style with a love hold, including a wonderful chip and charge. His serve stats started to come together and Federer looked very strong in the second set. But so did Raonic and both men protected their serve very well. In fact, Raonic was applying a bit more pressure to Federer's serve in the second set than Federer was applying to the Raonic serve. Well, in the breaker, after an exchange of mini breaks, Raonic double faulted. Well, you might say that this was a gift to Federer, but Raonic was really going for his second serves. He was serving a lot of second serve aces this week, and that was part of his strategy. So the double faults were a risk that he was taking, and here he paid at an unfortunate time in the tiebreaker. Then Federer hit a wonderful passing shot to go up 6-3 in the breaker, and then Federer converted immediately to take the match, and again, his his 98th career title, his 18th grass title, and his first title at Stuttgart. Congratulations to Federer. In all, this was a good matchup. Raonic was a little short on the serving numbers. To be sure, he was hitting fewer aces today than he was in previous matches this week, but that was primarily due to Roger's strong return game. Well, this match demonstrates that big serves are not enough to win grass titles. And I remind you, Milos Raonic with that massive serve of his has yet to win a grass title in his career. Well, this match was a big test for Federer, coupled with the Kyrgios match yesterday. He's not going to see as much pressure on him at Halle. His first match will be against Aljaz Bedene, and they've met once at the Australian Open in 2018. Federer prevailed in straight sets. In the second round, he could see Benoit Pea. In the quarterfinal, 
Cole Schreiber could be on the other side of the court. In the semifinal, things could get interesting. He could see Team Pui or possibly Stefanos Tsitsipas if he can get through Pui in his own first round match. In the final, we will likely see Alexander Zverev on the other side of the court possibly Nishikori, and possibly Richard Gasquet, who just won a title in the Netherlands today as well. Based on the very high level of play that he displayed this week, coupled with the fact that some of the really strong grass contenders are over at Queen's Club, Federer seems poised to defend his title at Halle. The big question is Wimbledon. That's the one that Roger really wants, and that's the one that we all want Roger to win. If he fails to defend at Halle, it's really no big deal. The more important point is that he has demonstrated that he is back in form. He's the king of grass, and he's taken out two very serious grass contenders in Nick Kyrgios and Milos Raonic. So Federer is poised, ladies and gentlemen, to take his record ninth Wimbledon title. I'm going to be covering that in great detail. I'm covering the entire grass season in great detail. Thank you for your viewership. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Signing off from Boston.